When did you first get involved in sports? Dad was a Browns fan, and I was somewhat of a Browns fan. And believe me, that's pretty tough, man. That's like, you know, going out there to the, you know, ballpark every day or the playground and just getting your ass whooped. 2007, I actually met the Browns, and they put a restraining order on me. And I was like, you know what, what am I, what am I a fan for? Wait, why'd you get a restraining order? I told him to draft Adrian Peterson. 321, 1985, 11 to life path. And he turned out to be a Hall of Famer. They didn't listen to me. Um, they picked up a good player, but they didn't pick him. And I used to go to Berea. That's where their headquarters was in Cleveland. And I went to the secretary, went through everybody. Uh, unfortunately, the GM at the time was the ordained minister. And he wasn't trying to hear it. And uh, he told uh, someone in security. And I get a phone call one day. And it's uh, something like this. Son, my name is Ulmar Marlotte. Do you know who I am? I'm like, no. He's like, Google me. I'll be call you back in 10 minutes. Like, what the fuck? Like, what kind of mobster is this calling me like that? And, you know, I, I Googled who he was. Mm. Former <laughs> head of the Secret Service under Bill Clinton. <laughs> Next time he uh, called me, I said, yes, sir. But um, he told me to leave the Browns alone. And th this guy, because he was the uh, uh, president for Brown security at the time. He retired. And I was like, listen, I got something here. I got something here. He's like, I don't care about putting a restraining order on you. So they did it. I mean, I had uh, stuff with the Cleveland Indians. I had stuff with the Cleveland Cavs. Um, but I, I have more success with other teams in California. And that story will come out eventually. One 